Contact 7 Rebound team is here to help you navigate the transition of the safer at home order. But here's a perspective you may not have thought about. Hospitals have to make a rebound too to stay in the black. Number 7's Eric Lufer got an exclusive interview with the CEO of Presbyterian St. Luke's Medical Center. We prepared for the worst and hoped for the best, and that's exactly what we got. Presbyterian St. Luke's Medical Center CEO Maureen Tarrant says her hospital has never been overwhelmed with COVID patients. We all saw the stories of some of the more densely populated areas, such as actually where I was born, Queens, New York. Colorado and Denver have not been like that. But in turn, Tarrant says something else happened. And so in the course of that, I think we had an unintended consequence. And that is, I think we made people afraid to come back to the hospital. The numbers back up that claim. Terrence says the hospital is seeing one third to one half of the volume in the ER department alone right now. And I'm very worried that there's um, going to be this collateral damage because of avoidance, because of our focus on COVID. And when volume is down, so is revenue. A reality check that hospitals are businesses too. People want to get their hours. They want to get their full paycheck. We don't want physician practices having to file bankruptcy. And Tarrant believes the answer to a hospital rebound is reminding people that hospitals are safe and not as chaotic as you'd think. And in turn, it's helping healthcare workers in another way. If we think about celebrating the heroes, right? The healthcare workers, the nurses, the doctors, the last thing we would ever want is for them to suffer personally financial consequences. I'm Eric Lufer, Denver 7. So far, no one has been furloughed or laid off the hospital. Presbyterian St. Luke's is offering pandemic pay through the end of June, guaranteeing 70% of base pay to all employees.